D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can, you know, read them for yourself, or you can just listen to this video where I'm going to read them for you. And, you know, well, I'll give you my opinion and thoughts on everything. Um, also, before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, YouTube is always changing up the algorithm on small channels like mine. We always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. So now that that's all said and done, why don't we go ahead and get started? Coming from Deadline. Deadline's my favorite. Um, it looks like ne uh, Next Star uh, is in a deal, is, is working on a deal to control CW and it's near finished. By the time this video comes out, it might be all said and done. I don't know. But as far as me uh, uh, recording this, they haven't uh, reached a deal just yet. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know if this is good news. I, there's, I have concerns if this goes through and I'll tell you what those are. Let's read through this, uh, this, uh, uh, article real quick, and then I'll tell you what my concerns are, okay? So it says, Next Star Media Group's pursuit of majority control of the CW is nearing the finishing line, finish line. According to people with knowledge of the pending transaction, word of the deal first surfaced last January, but it has taken some time to iron out details as currently structured. The deal will see Nexstar take a 75% stake in the broadcast network and current partners, uh, Paramount Global and Warner Brothers Discovery each take 12.5%. Sources indicate there is still some chances that a, the tentative agreement could unravel but if it stays on track, it could be uh, formalized in the next few weeks. The Wall Street Journal had the first uh, report of ownership structure and uh, the apparently uh, eminent closing of the acquisition. Boring. But still, let's keep going. Next are the number one owner of local TV station in the U.S., as well as the owner of cable network and news nation and digital brands like The Hill, would make a logical new owner for the CW because it already has the most uh, affiliates of the network. That's true. The more affiliates they have, the, the more people you can get your, your shows out to and everything. Um, which we're going to talk about shows in a minute. While both current partners are looking, as are all media companies, the streamline uh, their their operations and tighten tighten up their balance sheets. The next star scenario is an organic way to scratch some red ink. Next star Paramount and Warner Brothers Discovery declined to comment when contacted by Deadline. Created in 2006 as a way of uh, consolidating at UPN and the WB. Oh, I remember when it was called the WB and everything. And they had a, uh, you remember that Birds of Prey show and stuff. And I remember uh, Smallville when it first started was like on the WB, Smallville and everything. Uh, that was fun. Uh, the CW has been a 50-50 venture between the various owners of CBS and Warner Brothers since then, generating a string of shows with youth appeal like Gossip Girl. Riverdale and All American viewership on the linear network consisted with uh, consi uh, consist consistent with that on across broadcast TV is fifty plus, but the company's free ad supported streaming app and social channels draw younger avid audiences uh, concentrated in the desirable 18 to 34 demographic. Now, I just want to say real quick, um, I think that they have created some TV shows that are definitely um, stuff people want to see and everything. But for me personally, um, it's all gone downhill, I think, uh, you know, and they haven't made they said in another article that they haven't made any money that it hasn't been profitable since 2006. Um, and that's when all their, you know, uh, their shows like, uh, you know, they started messing with, you know, era and flash went downhill and then legends of tomorrow wasn't that great. Okay, so it says ma uh, macroeconomic conditions have worsened considerably since the deal first became public at the start of the year with inflation skyrocketing and rising interest rates. 
bogging down many business deals, none of those factors are expected to have a bearing on the CW transaction, Insider said. For one thing, there are no upfront costs for Nexstar. Instead, the company has agreed to shoulder the losses at the network, which could be north of $100 million this year. Okay, so they're getting this the, the, the CW for free, but they have to take on all their debt. So is it really free? I think not. All right, let me read this last little this last little part because uh this this is all business e but in it's a little boring but at the same time it's so fascinating uh, the strategic plan moving forward will be to run the CW as a full sustainable broadcast network rather than optimizing it for streaming. Even though the network itself has consistently booked loss losses, the joint venture partners have made hefty profits by licensing CW shows to Netflix, sometimes agreeing to renew shows whose linear ratings did not appear to justify those re-ups. As they started to plan and a real, they did, they have done that with shows before. The one that comes to mind, and I don't think it's, it's not a CW show, is uh, Lucifer. Uh, that show got canceled, and then Netflix got it, and they, uh, you know, uh, they created a couple more seasons on that one. And, and I, I, I personally, I appreciated that. The last couple of seasons weren't my favorite, but I did appreciate them grabbing that show and then, uh, you know, renewing it kind of thing, uh, which was really, really nice and saving that show. Um, as they uh, started to plan investments in their own stream, uh, and right now I think Arrow is on uh, Netflix right now, so they're licensing that out. So, you know, they're trying to get some money. It's just going to be a little bit of a difficult stretch here. Anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. Um, as they started to plan investments in their own streaming services, HBO Max and Paramount Plus, the current partners ended the CW output deal with Netflix in 2019. As the network made its annual upfront presentation to media buyers last month in New York City, CW chief Mark uh, Pedowitz alluded to the looming change of ownership and a time of transition. The CW announced the cancellation a significant number of shows as it re-died, uh, re uh, re-aided, re -dated. Um, it's 2022-2023 schedule. Among uh, discounted were DC Legends of Tomorrow, Legacies, Batwoman, Naomi, Dest uh, Dynasty, Charmed, Roswell, New Mexico, uh, In the Dark, and the 4400. Now, I just want to say, in buy, in get in buying, uh, in getting for free but taking on their debt, if Next Star brings back shows like Batwoman, which are not profitable, I just go, why? Why are you doing this? Create new shows, create shows that people want to see, and that will do well in the rating slash, you know, uh, profitability. Um, I don't think that uh, I don't I don't think that I mean Next Star is doing a uh, a good thing as far as their their business plan plan goes and everything, but I just hope that after they acquire uh, the CW, I hope or gain control over it. I hope that going forward they decide to not. Um, uh, create content that's garbage that people don't want to see. Like they look at the ratings and they go, listen, no one's watching this. So we need to move over to a different uh, thing. Cause the CW is free. I watch all their shows on TV uh, for free. Like I, I watch a uh, uh, Superman and Lois. Um, I come home at night uh, from work and it's on the, you know, the latest episode is on a clap, put that sucker on and I watch it. So I just go, you know, if it's free, and people like, you know, Netflix, people have to sign up for and pay for. But, you know, if it's free, people are probably more likely to come to your business and uh, and and uh, watch your show. So um, I think this is good for next star. But I hope going forward they do, uh, you know, they do some they do some better uh, planning as far as uh, that goes than uh, uh, the CW uh, people did uh, in the past. OK, enough talk about that. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about Next Star, uh, you know, uh, getting control over the CW? And do you think this is a good idea, a bad idea? Do you like Next Star? I have no idea who they are. Um, or do you think that this is, you know, uh, you know, just just let it die because it's not none of that stuff's good anyways. I mean, for the most part, uh, 
uh, the CW shows are kind of trash. I mean, the only one that I personally like off the top of my head is, is Superman and Lois, and that can just go to HBO Max. I got that. So, I mean, you know, whatever. I think what you guys think about all this, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go hit that like button. You know I won't mind. If you know my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys. You guys have a good week. Bye.